Look, I want to try to show you guys the water. See, can you see the water squirting out the side of it? Oh yeah. See that? That's the water cooled there. system working perfectly. And I'm okay to drive this through this grass. It really doesn't worry me at all. And look, I can go in this really shallow space too, and then go out of it. Listen to that. Making waves. You are making waves. Those are like the best, closest donuts you've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Boat Week 2 on the RC Sailors 2021. I feel like I should specify because we've had so many Boat Weeks on the channel and they're always so much fun. Today we're going to take a look at this Pro Boat River Jet Boat. Yeah, that's right. River Jet Boat. That is because it has a jet propulsion system. Rather than having an exposed propeller and rudder, we have this very low profile uh, system that allows us to go in really shallow water. We can also run through things like this grass and not really have to worry about getting caught and stuck as much as we would a traditional boat. You see the bottom of the boat here, the water gets sucked up in through this vent system and then pushed out the back. These tend to be a much quieter, kind of a unique, system too. You can do some stunts with them and they're just a lot of fun. The cool thing about boat week is at the end of the week I pick one and Abby, my wife, picks a boat and we let you guys know which one is our favorite of the week. Helps you narrow it down so you don't have to go buy a whole week's worth of boats too. So today we're driving this 3S powered RC boat. Three cells. Look at this. This is the battery that we're driving in this boat today. It's a 5,000 milliamp, three cell, 11.1 .1 volt LiPo battery, which is so awesome. This is gonna be really powerful. It can run a 2S battery or a 4S battery too, but this is the recommended one because it has a self-writing feature. We're gonna test that today too. So let's put it in the water and see how it does. Here's the more important question. Which one's you and which one's me? Is that, am I, I driving? Like, yeah, you're driving I'm and driving. I'm wearing the blue. Okay. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> We like to start our boats off upside down. Listen to this. <laughs> Sounds good. Don't do too much of that out of the water because this is a water-cooled system. Water gets sucked in through this little hole in the bottom and it shoots out the side there because there's a hose system inside that helps keep everything nice and cool. Look at that. That looks really good. <laughs> let's, let's go. Why would we start our boats off upside down? Because it's fun. There we go. <laughs> Now one thing to know about this boat is that you cannot steer it unless it's under power. Because we don't have an exposed rudder, if you want to steer, you've got to have some throttle going with this thing. So like if you're coming into the shore and you're panicking and you let go of the throttle, watch what happens. It just kind of goes straight. So if you want this boat to steer, you have to have it under some power, which is kind of hard to get used to, at least if you're like us and you've driven about a hundred boats. I think we're definitely over a hundred boats now. <laughs> hey, I'm just kind of putzing around. You ready for full throttle? Oh yeah. Here we go. Oh, I wiped out on that one. <laughs> let's, let's get it. See, we're dealing with a little bit of wind and choppy waters, so here we go. Let's open it up. If we can actually get silky smooth water, it'll, it'll speed up. Otherwise, here we go. Let's go with the wind. Woo! It's skimming across the water today. Look at that. We can do crazy stunts with this thing. It's actually driving a little bit better. Oh, I think I just rolled it. Oh, God. <laughs> Can't see it. Yes, I did. There it is. There we go. Self-riding feature. Save the day. <laughs> awesome. Look at it go now. As long as we can get this without too much wind, it performs really well. So, this boat, unlike a lot of boats that we have on the channel, has different speed settings. So we can take us on our radio and go down to 50%. And now when I go full throttle, there's full throttle at 50%. So if you're kind of getting used to driving and you don't want to roll it a lot and get a lot of water on board, you can just go, there's full throttle, like I said, at the 50% throttle limit. And it'll just let you kind of cruise. Maybe you want to let a kid drive it or someone that's inexperienced. <laughs> My name is on my hand. So this is a good setting for a kid or a first time driver. Like let's say you're turning some heads at the lake and you get someone that walks up and asks questions and you're a generous enough person that you'd let them drive your boat. You can put it on 50% and just let them have a little bit of fun like this. You can even see, at least I could see, the water shooting out the side of it, uh -huh. which is really cool. It's a very good, efficient 
water-cooled system right now. My turns are kind of wide on this setting, so what I can do is actually turn up my steering rate if I want to. So there's so much trim functionality on this boat. Now look how much sharper I can turn. See, I'm almost on a dime now, even at this low throttle. And that's only at the steering rate halfway up. Let's turn it all the way up and see how tight I can turn. There's some low throttle donuts. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Those look good. Let's bring it in a little closer. It sounds good and actually drives really good on low throttle. I like this. Look, I want to try to show you guys the water. See, can you see the water squirting out the side of it? Oh, yeah. See that? That's the water cooled okay. system working perfectly. And I'm okay to drive this through this grass. It really doesn't worry me at all. And look, I can go in this really shallow space too, and then go out of it. So I want to lower that steering radius some, bump it up to 75% and see how it drives at 75. So maybe you get an adult that's interested and knows about RC boats and they want to try it out. 75% throttle actually feels really, really good on this boat. If you don't have perfectly smooth water to drive it on, I think 75 is just perfect. See, nice cruising speed. You can still have really fun turning it like crazy, doing some really tight turns. <laughs> Look at that. You know what else is interesting about this boat? There's no rooster tail shooting out of it because you don't have that rudder just jammed down in the water. It, it's really unique. Let's go back up to 100% and blast the throttle. This boat goes from zero to full throttle really fast. The only thing you have to worry about is just slamming into something and you have to remember to maintain power if you want to steer. So you don't ever want to just like completely let off the throttle. Having said that, Abby, let's put you on 75. <laughs> get a feel for this jet boat. I'm not worthy of 100% AMI. Not yet. We'll get you there. <laughs> All right, here you go. Abby, you're at the controls. 75% throttle. When you feel ready, just bump it up to 100 and have fun. But when the water's choppy like this, this thing is like so fast that it's actually kind of hard to drive at 100% if you're full throttle. At least on a 3S battery. What are you doing? <laughs> you don't have to worry about scuffing up your prop or rudder. You can actually beach your boat just like that. And I don't recommend doing it a lot on gravel, but that's a really good way to recover the boat. Jet boats are so awesome. And this is our biggest one that we have. Listen to that. Making waves. You are making waves. Those are like the best, closest donuts you've ever done. <laughs> that was good. You see what I mean? How it drives really well on 75%. Uh -huh. Yeah, you and you don't really have to worry about rolling it. Like it's probably not gonna roll as easily when you're not at full throttle. That's a good boat. My favorite thing to do with these. Oh, the super tight turns? Or, no, low water, low water drive. Really shallow. So that's what this has. Oh, okay, okay, okay. A little too low, a little too low. <laughs> but that's what this boat has going for it over really all other boats because you don't have to worry about scraping your rudder and, uh, and your prop on rocks. She's right. That's so cool. Because you couldn't do this with the other boats that we've had on the channel. We'd have to be out past that grass. You are really... Oh, man. It sounds like you sucked in just a little okay. bit of grass, maybe. Suck in some, grass. some lake you weed. Look at it or no? I think it shoved it back out. Yeah, I think it's yeah. good now. It sounded like it was gurgling. <laughs> like... <laughs> Oh, it's still kind of doing it. Okay, let's bring it in. That's the beauty of this. We can just bring it in fast. Oh, you're right. I hear it again. Let's see what we have in there. I want to pass the camera off to you. Leave it to me to break the boat. There. there that's what it's it is. right at the bottom. Just a little rocks. bit of... Oh, oh those rocks. are rocks you sucked up in there, Abby. <laughs> oh, too much low driving. Wow. <laughs> Lesson learned. Don't drive it over rocks. Handy key. Pulled the rocks out. Let you keep driving, Abby. You're gonna ruin my boat. This is my not river yet. jet boat. Here we go. Oh, sounds good now. Hundred percent. I think actually there weren't rocks in there, but it was like not allowing enough water to flow in there because it was blocked. So 
Wow, you're right. that was good. The wind has died down, that's why. That was pretty good. Look at you go. Skimming, skimming across the water pretty well. <laughs> oh. It turns so tight. It does. Sometimes. Now you can turn that steering. It takes a minute to get used to. You can turn the steering radius down if you want. The sensitivity. Yeah. On 100% I think you definitely want to. I think so too. Because it's way too sharp. Yeah. Is it? Is it beeping? No, that was a bird. A bird, okay. <laughs> I'm always listening for like low voltage warnings. So did you just turn the steering radius down? The yeah, sensitivity? Yeah, Cool. Oh, That's wow. So crazy though. That is a cool boat. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like having jet boats in our fleet of boats. Sorry, right, you gonna bring it in? Yeah. Here we go. Through the grass, doesn't matter. And right onto the rocks. Nice. Oh. I wanna show you guys water. <laughs> I'll tell you what, we'll probably fast forward this. Yeah, this takes forever too. Okay, there we go. There, ready? To okay, go. so even with that hatch system, you still get some water in here, but honestly, for as much as we were upside down here, you can see down here, I'm gonna turn the boat off. You can see it sitting down there and pulling, right? Like, there's quite a bit of water, but let's pour it out. Let's go on the gravel here. There you go. Okay, there's still a little bit more in there too. But what I like to do, if I get water in my boats like this, is I set them out on like the driveway, even with a little bit of water in there. And on a sunny, bright day like today, of course I, I'll get my battery out and just kind of let it air dry out there too. But I like to let these sit in the sun and just evaporate any standing water in there. That's okay considering how fast this is and how much we had it upside down and stuff. That's really not too bad. Um, that's kind of normal, I think, a normal amount of water, not too bad. That is just super fun. So cool. I really like that this can run in shallow water. And this is a boat that I would keep as like an alternative boat that I could run in. Just, if I know, if I know I'm coming to a lake like this, there might be a couple other boats that I might prefer to run over this one. Like our, our Vizcaico stunt boat was really awesome. We have the other pro boat, the Wake something. I think it's called the Sonic Wake, Sonic I'm pretty Wake, sure. Yeah. Man, that thing is a blast. This is just a nice, like, medium-sized boat. I'd really like to run this in moving water. It is called the river jet boat. I'd like to run this in a creek or an actual river and see how it performed. But this is the lake that we have access to today, and so that's why we ran it here, and it is awesome. If you like power that's in the form of a jet boat, then this is for you. But we have one more boat coming to boat week two of the RC Sailors. So hold out until you see that boat. It's even more unique than this one and I cannot wait to share it. But if you are drooling over this thing and you have to have it, we'll have it linked in the description box below with the battery, the very specific battery and charger that we're using. There are cheaper options of batteries and chargers too though. So if you want, we'll link the cheaper option down there too, especially for the charger, in case you've never gotten into the hobby and you just wanna get into this boat as cheap as possible. But I highly recommend using what we are using. Know that if you use those links too, you're helping to support our channel and our family, and it doesn't cost you an extra penny. So if you found this video useful or like entertaining in any way, just pick up your boat with that link. And maybe you're not gonna buy a boat today, but you find an RC car or an airplane over on the website that we linked to if you buy something after you've clicked our link we'll get a little bit of credit for that too so thank you if you're going to do that for us we really appreciate it one more boat for boat week and i am so pumped that's next for the channel so if you're not subscribed be sure to subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss that also in that video we're going to let you guys know what was our favorite boat of boat week too abby gets a pick and i get a pick so that is awesome i I'm already like really struggling to find a favorite, so I'm hoping that tomorrow <laughs> just knocks it out of the park. For all this fun we've been having, playing with RC boats on the water, getting out and just having a good time as a family, I thank God. 
I also want to say a big thanks to our Patreon supporters because without you guys, we couldn't do what we do. We couldn't be as honest and transparent as we are. You guys fully support the channel, and for that, we thank you guys so much. If you want to be a Patreon supporter, it's linked down in the description box below, and it'd mean the world to us. So I am thinking about what boat video should be popping up right about now, but I kind of want it to be a surprise. So you guys need to click that link, check it out. That boat video is totally worth your time. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.